going to define a function my function underscore one star is used because we don't know the number of arguments so star args allows us to pass multiple number of non keyword argument so here we will return sum of let's say args let's multiply it by 1.112 so this will multiply all the numbers to 1.112 my function underscore 1 so the argument will be anything we will pass some numbers so when we run it you can see the multiplication of the number of numbers we have passed so let's make another function my function underscore 2 so here also we will put star args and then let's see the type of this args so this will be a tuple so type of args and then let me print the arguments which will be passed and then let's print let's say f sum let's put the sum here sum of args and now we'll make a post statement for items in args we'll print items and let's end with a comma let's print the fun my function my function underscore 2 and let's pass some numbers here also let's put the numbers as 21, 22, 67, 89, 99, 26 so let's run it so you can see it is not calling because I have put quotation mark over here so let's run it so you can see here the output uh, 320 4 and the class is showing as tuples so similarly let's make another function here we will be passing a string so let's make my function underscore let's say function underscore 3 and let's put star args ok let's print the youngest child is Okay, it will print the youngest child so let me put plus a r g s so we will be adding let's take uh, three uh, three names so it will take the last name let me put my function function underscore three and let me put some names let's put john and let's put tony let me put one more name let's name it as Harry so when we run it you can see the youngest child is Harry so let's take some example of uh, double star a k w a r g s that is keyword arguments so it will allow us to pass multiple number of keyword argument so let me make here the function name as my function underscore function okay. so here we will be putting keyword arguments ok so that here the type will be dictionary so let us see by printing it the type of k w a r g s ok let me print the let's check uh, is last name is okay. and let me put here k w a r g s and let's put last name 
we will fetch from the key last name so we will put uh, the key in the when we call the function let me call my function and let's put the first uh, key as first name f name equals john and let's put the last name and let's put the value as Rick okay. so you can see it is printing the last name so similarly let me make another function mm, let me make my function underscore 4 okay. so here also we will pass here we will pass both let's check a r g s and uh, r -R t w a r g s both it will take non keyword as well as keyword so let us print the a r g s and let's print the keyword also and then let me print a string and let's take it as i would like to have and let me put the a r g s okay one so it will take the argument from the position one and then let's put me let me put the keyword arguments okay let's take from the key food okay so now you can see we have the uh, function so let's call it function underscore 4 so here we have to put both let me put like this 8 and let me put the argument as let's put it as key fruit equals orange and here let me take one more let me take food also food so we have given in the above print statement food key so let me put the food as pizza okay and uh, let me delete this so let's run so you can see here it is printing i would like to have six pizzas so it has taken the argument 6 from here because we have given the argument 1 here so it has taken it from the position 1 and it has taken the food key here and it has printed pizza 